Off to a great start. And Dare to Breeze and French Horn away sharply with unbridled weather. Me Bargo, Mensa the center. On their inside is Shared to Shenanigans. They're all in full flight early. And in behind them is Bullet with plenty of speed to target. And a length and a half away last is Pop Rocks. Going to the front on the inside is Mensa by about a length. Two in second, Dare to Breeze. Caught a bit wide, French Horn around Me Bargo. And on the inside, Shared to Shenanigans from unbridled weather. Bullet creeping closer now is about four and a half off the leader. And last is Pop Rocks. They race down to the final quarter and Mensa in front trying to shake loose from Dare to Breeze who clings on two lengths away Me Bargo and French Horn the inside shared a shenanigans and Bullet is about to come to the outside making her run and as they come down the stretch Mensa from Dare to Breeze trying to muster momentum is Bullet in behind them as Dare to Breeze has gone to the front Me Bargo's coming on with shared a shenanigans out in front narrowly Dare to Breeze but Me Bargo leveling and Bullet the outside as they come right down to the wire Me Bargo has won it Dare to breeze second and Bullet is third in a sweep for Mark Cassie and then shared a shenanigans unbridled weather ran on and the time is 57.89. High Clear Incorporated in New York who bred this bay two-year-old colt. Gary Barber winning owner. Mark Cassie not only winning trainer he had first, second, and third. And Sahin Savachi is the winning rider in the Algonquin Stakes with Mibago in what is just a third lifetime starter now, a two-time winner and a stakes winner. $7.25 for 5621. The double 7-5, 150. Mibago in the Bet365 Algonquin Stakes. And this guy to my right just continues to roll. He, last week, as a matter of fact, he became the first Woodbine rider this meet to get to the 100 win plateau this season. That's a huge accomplishment. You pick up another stakes win with this one. I want to ask you about five furlongs in this particular event because it takes 57 seconds to run the race and so much can happen. Any anxious moments for you at all during this race? No, just to get him out as quickly as possible, get him into the race and, you know, go on from there. So what do you do strategy-wise? Because you've never been aboard the horse in the afternoon. Do you watch replays? Do you talk things over with Mark and his team? Well, uh, I look at the program, see see what horses have a lot of speed. And uh, I just try to get my horse out as fast as possible. And then if I, if I uh, step back and uh, let him in, between horses, uh, mid-pack, that's fine with me, and that's what I did today. Uh, it took, uh, getting around the turn, it took him, uh, he had a little trouble getting around the turn, so I had to ask him a little bit there, and uh, yeah, I just got up. He first certainly finished up absolutely full of run. What does it mean to you right now to kind of be where you are in the jock standings at this point? Uh, how would you evaluate your season so far? Oh, it was great. Um, <laughs> Uh, I've been getting a lot of uh, great opportunities. Uh, I have uh, a lot of people that support me. Uh, I thank uh, Mark and uh, Gary and all the other owners. Uh, I have Martin Drexler. Uh, so a lot a lot of them, I, I appreciate what they do for me. And your biggest fan is Levi. I don't know if he's here or not today. Is he here today? Uh, not today. Not today. Okay, but Levi's watching home. So a hi from Levi, from Dad and Jeff. Congratulations, my friend. There you go, Sahin Savachi. It is. Me Bego, who is victorious in today's Bet365 Algonquian Stakes. That's one stakes down, three more still to go.